I think th there's no magic answer, and you're talking about a specific, uh, specific example there with you know, a specific answer. You know, each, each large semiconductor company who licensed ARM early on um, was licensing ARM for an individual specific reason. Uh, as it happened, um, when TI licensed uh, a, a microprocessor from ARM, I was actually at TI and saw it from the other side. Uh, and uh, you know, at, at TI, we were very, very keen to win the business with Nokia, but simply, simply didn't have a, a microprocessor that would do the job. Uh, and uh, you know, so either we had to invent another microprocessor, which TI had invented lots of microprocessors by then. And actually, we had some very successful 4-bit uh, microprocessor, very successful 16-bit microprocessor, but unfortunately before the rest of the world realized that they needed 16-bit microprocessors. So in business terms, it wasn't that successful, even though it was a very nice microprocessor. Um, and we'd lost confidence, really, uh, at, at TI in, in um, going for it and building another microprocessor. So in a way, it was, it was shopping around. And uh, the ARM processor had the right characteristics for sitting alongside uh, a TI DSP to target the Nokia application. And really, it was as simple as that, um, plus a few commercial terms and some very good selling from the ARM team at the time uh, to, uh, to position their microprocessor so that it would satisfy TI's uh, requirements. Um, you could go and look at you know other early licensees of ARM, and you know why did they uh, need to uh, need to license ARM? And you know some of it was was very much uh, customer driven. You know, Sharp was ARM's uh, ARM's third licensee, and you know, it was the only answer for them to uh, to build the Newton product that they wanted to build because ARM was already designed into the Newton product. Uh, and I could go on, and until about 1997, then virtually every um, every semiconductor company that licensed from ARM, there was a very, very unique story uh, behind that license. 